make your mornings a little easier and a lot tastier. So please welcome all the way from his East Coast kitchen, Andy Hay. <laughs> Andy, I'm so excited that you're here. It is an honor to be here. I can't oh. believe this is amazing. I know. Yeah. It's okay. Can you think back? Okay, so for people who don't know, Andy and I um, have something in common. We were both on a little show called MasterChef Canada. Might have, yeah. might have heard of it. No big deal. So can you believe how long ago that felt like? It's unbelievable. Feels like I was a different person the first time I was on there compared to where I am now. It's, totally. It's wild. You must feel the, the same. Oh, completely. Yeah. I remember the first time I even met you. I think you had to make a dessert and you put corn in it. And I was like, this guy knows what's up. Corn? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think? Was that, did you think I had the chops to make it? Oh my gosh, yeah. a thousand okay. percent. Okay, a nice. thousand percent. And corn in anything. I'm, I, you're, you're selling, like, oh, I'm yes, your the audience. Basket. I yes. which one? Yeah, like, Becky tried to trip me up. Yes. And I got your basket. That's exactly. Right. The corn. Yeah, the I corn. Remember. I know yeah. it was mine. But uh, no, I'm so thrilled and so honored. But you are such an amazing guy, an amazing recipe developer. Thank you. And you are going to make our lives a little easier with three make-ahead breakfast ideas, right? Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do it. Mornings can, can be intense. So mm -hmm. I, have, I have two daughters, yes. my wife. I've mm -hmm. got to get everyone fueled and out the door so I can start my day. Mm -hmm. So we get a nail breakfast. Yeah. So let's do this. So okay. we have three make-ahead options. Perfect. Number one, I'm going to switch sides with you Perfect. here. Perfect. Amazing. So we're going to make freezable burritos. Okay. Who doesn't like a burrito? I love a They're burrito. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. So I like to spend my Sundays doing some meal prep, mm -hmm. get things set up. These are a great one to meal prep. So what we're going to do is get this fired up. Yeah, so we get, we get this pan nice and hot here. So Mary, I'll start. Perfect. I'm going to toss this into a pan, maybe a little bit of oil. A little bit of oil lovely. in there. There you go. Beautiful. Nice. And again, this is just a framework. Choose your own vegetables. I've got picky eaters, as you can tell. Yes. So I'm just going to toss in a little bit of spinach. Oh, listen to that sizzle. I love I a sizzle. Love oh my gosh, isn't it a delight? A little bit of basil. Who Amazing. doesn't like some basil? Oh, I like this touch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We don't want that fragrance. Mm -hmm. And then I love cooking with all sorts of herbs. So we'll mm -hmm. add in a little bit of green onions. Delicious. And we'll give that a little stir. I feel so like green onions are good for little kids too. It's the softest onion. It's, it's an entry point of the herb. Entry, for sure. on, yes, for yeah. sure. Okay, so I'm going to get you while we're waiting to scramble up these eggs. Amazing. So I'll add a little bit of salt, Perfect. a little bit of pepper. You can spice it in any way you want. There's really no wrong answers here, Mary. That already smells that. amazing. Doesn't that smell good? That little bit of basil in there? I know. Andy. It's lovely. My garden has so much basil right now. It's, we got to use it up. Amazing. Okay, give that a whisk. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scramble these eggs. Mm -hmm. Beautiful whisking. Oh, thank I love you so it. much. Okay, so this Not is starting. Not my first rodeo. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so this is starting to wilt nicely. I'm making a mess of your kitchen. Oh, make here. a mess. Don't worry. I, I do it okay. all the time. I feel at yeah. Home here. <laughs> all right, yeah. that, that looks perfect. Amazing. So we'll gently pour that on in there. Let's go on in. And then we'll just scramble these up. So I, again, I like to make this in advance. We can get everything done. We can scramble up these eggs, mm -hmm. get them done. We do have some that are done here. Amazing. But I'd say just add in as much as you want here. Now I do have some stuff set up yep. for the rest of the burritos. Okay. So we'll let these cook away, but we'll get our mise en place in front of us before we start rolling up all of these burritos. Amazing, perfect. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll hand you these. So these are done pre advanced. Mm -hmm. So all this is is almost, uh, we've got some uh, red peppers, some onions, and some microwave sweet potatoes, just so they're nice and soft. Oh, I love that idea. That's a good tip, there. amazing. And then some black beans Extra are lovely fiber. to add in. Mm -hmm. Some cheese. We'll add a little bit more. You, you're really into the basil, but so listen, we'll add I'm really more. into this basil. Some avocado yeah. with some cheese. Amazing. Wonderful, perfect. we can toss that there. Okay, we'll let this cook away. Perfect. Those are going to take a while. So we're going to swap that out. Yep. Be careful we don't burn ourselves there. I know, that's always the key. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you, when we do cook the eggs, you want to let them fully cool. Yeah. Because we're going to make this for uh, our future selves. Okay. So let's get, we have our mise en place totally ready here. Amazing. So now we're each going to grab a tortilla. Okay. We'll both do one here. Perfect. So a whole wheat, whole wheat tortilla, full size. Nice. There you and go. And then you set up over there. I'll set up over here. We can choose our own adventure here. There's no wrong answers. Oh, There's I no like wrong the, answers. I like this. It's not a test. It's not a test. It's not a competition, no. as my daughter oh, always says. Oh, oh gosh. It's you're not gonna... a competition. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I have no master burrito roller here, but what I'm going to get you to do is grab a scoop of eggs. A little bit of egg. And then put it just a little bit, uh, let's call this south of center. So a little bit close to you. Okay, cool. Maybe a little yeah, bit I'm more. I'm going to go a little just more Just a little eggy. bit more in there. Perfect. There you go. And now, again, choose your own adventure. Whatever you want. I'm gonna, I always like to go sweet potato. 
some of those uh, red peppers, the onions. Perfect. Add more spinach if you want to. I'm definitely going with this yeah, situation. Beautiful. This is something I love doing too, just to throw on like a sandwich or whatever. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely. You want some of that? Yes, please. There you Thank go. you so much. I'm going with the basil because I have talked about it too much already. That's right. You got to toss some in, in there. there. Amazing. What I love about this one too, and we'll get it to it when we cut it open, mm -hmm. it's the colors. They just like pop, which is so fun in 100%. the morning too, where it doesn't have to be anything boring. This is easy, done in advance. And it's just like, it's filled with all sorts of good stuff. Yeah, all the protein, that's the thing. I'm someone, I love a savory breakfast. Yes. I love a savory breakfast. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, if you want to add some beans, I always like adding a Ooh. little bit of, a couple beans in the morning. Sprinkle some beans, just uh, start your some day off, fiber. right? that's yeah. right. Oh, again, yeah. I'm making a huge mess here. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how do okay. you roll? Okay, so I am no master burrito roller mm -hmm. here. So we're gonna grab the end closest to us. Okay. We're gonna get a little bit messy here, Mary. Do it. And so I always kind of like tuck everything in, okay. fold over. Amazing. Okay, step one done. Okay. Now grab from the ends, Okay. fold in, fold in. Nice. And then ever so gingerly continue to fold it over no. like that. Are you the present wrapper in your house? Because that was very well done. Uh, I am not. Okay, yeah. I am definitely not. I'm not a good present wrapper. <laughs> okay. Okay, you nailed it there. Amazing. So what we're gonna do is the final step here is mm -hmm. we're gonna take these burritos mm -hmm. and pop them into this preheated pan, mm -hmm. seam down. Okay. Crucial piece there. And then just press down. Nice. So that will need to sear for a couple minutes there. Perfect. And then that's really done. That kind of sticks it shut. Exactly. Oh, I like so that. So once that's done, put it on a cooling rack, let them fully cool. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna wrap them up in some parchment paper, toss them in a Ziploc bag, toss them in the freezer, and you have a busy morning, you chuck that in the microwave. Listen. Look at that. Fun fact about me, Andy. Hey, I will eat a burrito any time of day. Any time of day. You can oh eat my that gosh. In the car if you need to. I could. That smells so good. That's I'm a fun gonna one. eat that later. Yeah. Enjoy uh, that one for your lunch. Shall we move on to the yes. next? Amazing. Uh, so like this is one of the more viral recipes I've made on my Instagram. I feel like you are known for this one. Kind of. 100%. Yeah, a bit of a signature. Yeah. So we're going to be making these egg bites. I love these things. Amazing. So into this beautiful blender that you have here, mm -hmm. we're going to add in nine eggs. Ooh. Just whole eggs. This could be done with uh, egg whites as well. Okay. So just pour that on in. Dump them on in. This can make a little bit of mess. I, I love this. You nailed it, of course. Amazing. Okay, next up, we can, we're going to add in cottage cheese which is having a huge moment on the internet right now. Cottage cheese, if someone had told me in 2023 cottage cheese would be like the cool thing on the internet, I would not have guessed that. It's a great ingredient. Yeah. It's a great ingredient. It's a delicious one. Super protein-y too. Exactly. Okay. So we're gonna add in, this is a half cup okay. of cottage cheese. Amazing. Do you need one of these? You got that? Oh, we got it, we got, got it. Gravity okay. helped me. Exactly. Yeah. And then we're gonna add in a half cup of cheese as well. What type of cheese are we using here? Uh, it, it, choose your own adventure, cheddar, smoked cheddar, gouda, really anything. There's no wrong answers. I do love a smoked cheddar because it gives you a little bit of a bacon vibe without actually exactly. having to put bacon in it if you don't want to. And then we're just gonna add a bit of salt. Amazing. There. If you wanna add some pepper, you can go for it. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna blend this one up. Okay. And we're gonna blend it kind of like medium. We don't want too much air incorporated. Got it. So I'd say let her fly here. Beautiful. Good? Uh, one more. We want to make sure that cottage cheese gets in there. All right, that's perfect. Stop. Perfect. Hands, Hands up. up. Hands up, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, flashbacks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Amazing. So we'll take the top off there if you can grab. Uh, this is the scariest there part of go. blenders. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to grab a muffin tin. If you can get a silicone muffin tin, it will work better. It'll just make these pop out so much better. Amazing. We're going to fill them up about halfway. Perfect. Even to get a couple of those. Okay. Would be lovely. Great. And again, choose your own adventure. These are a really easy meal prep idea. You can put anything in here. Green onions, bacon, tomatoes, <laughs> cheese, whatever you want. Amazing. Yeah, go for it there, Mary. Perfect. I'm going to do a little in. bit of tomato in there. And I should have mentioned this before while you're filling this up. We're going to preheat the oven to 300. Okay. We're going to put oh, a low, nice low, and low. Nice okay. and low. And we're going to put a brownie pan filled with water. Mm -hmm. So we want a real humid environment in there. Oh, so that's, that's going to be key so to do. It's almost like it's sous vide. Exactly. Uh, I exactly. like that. I okay, think, perfect. I think there's a set even in the oven. Are there some in the Oh, my Can gosh. Can I be so bold to check? We're not. Yeah, we are not messing around here, Andy. Hey. Look at these. You're oh, look at around. those. Oh my gosh, these look so, so perfect. so fun. These are so fun. Again, great for meal prep. I look like, at those. I keep these in my fridge. Sometimes I'll put them. Those look perfect. Perfect, perfect. Amazing, okay, now for the sweet okay. lovers. The okay, sweet we've lovers. got a lot of, of savory. Yeah. So let's move on to sweet. Oats. Yes. Overnight oats, very fun, very easy. Mm -hmm. Lots of protein, easy to do. On a Sunday, you can get this all going. So let's just build them together. Grab yourself a mason jar. Okay. 
We're gonna add in some oats. Perfect. Hopefully I don't, again, I feel bad making a mess in no, the kitchen. No, listen, I also do, but okay. this is what my, my husband's the cleaner, I'm the cook. That's I a, make the that's mess. That's a good deal. Yeah. That's a good deal. Perfect. So now I'm gonna add in a little bit of cocoa. So the Ooh. flavors here are gonna be chocolate, peanut butter, banana, oh, which is okay. a lovely flavor combo. Delicious, yeah. Add in a bit of maple syrup. <laughs> Amazing, Some oh, cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. Great. I get some peanut butter. Again, no wrong answers, add in any way you want. I've never done overnight oats before and I feel like you've already converted oh, Mary, me based on this. A little bit of Greek yogurt. Amazing. And then chia seeds. So they're a lovely ingredient to add. And chia seeds, they like puff up, right? Exactly. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, exactly. So we can give that a stir. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to add the milk in. A little Oops. bit of milk too. Last step. Make sure we don't do that. And then give that a little stir. Give it a little bit of shake. Okay, well, I'm gonna shake mine. Let's see how this goes. Just yeah, make sure the top's on. There you go, perfect. <laughs> there you go. Did That's I do lovely. it? Yeah, you nailed it. Okay. Pop that in the fridge. Yeah. Magic of TV, folks. I think Andy Hay, Andy Hay, you came early and he stocked everything delicious in this kitchen. She had me working. I am perfect. thrilled, oh my gosh. Look at this. And then add a little bit of peanut butter on there. Oh, I'm gonna go in with a little banana. Some banana, some and chocolate give this chips. A bite like, of who's not, this is a great breakfast. This Who doesn't want this for breakfast? Amazing. I'm gonna give it an old taste. Oh my gosh, Andy, hey, cheers. Oh my goodness. What's, oh my gosh, it smells so peanut buttery. Oh. Absolutely cheers. delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. That's good. Sandy Hay? That's fun. You are a wizard. Thank you. I'm so glad to know you. Thank Congrats you for saving for... all of our breakfast. Thank you for having me. Congrats Amazing. on everything. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.